my first impression was what kind of a madness is this? My second impression was, oh, I love it. I think it's going to sound really cheesy, but I, I, I don't care, I love it. Um, I think I'd re-watched Independence Day, which is like one of my favourite films. And I remember just thinking, okay, this is amazing. I need to be able to do stuff like this. I was scared. <laughs> I was like, how am I ever going to do this? I know nothing about the industry. Um, I had no idea. I was completely green. Uh, I didn't even know what Roto was. I had absolutely no idea, but so I learned from the ground up. Um, I, had a, I was lucky enough to have a, um, actually three, I'd say three main mentors. Um, and I think that's the best part of the, the graduate scheme at ILM. Like, um, you get treated like a professional, but then you've also got the mental help that you need. Um, and yes, they were two of them were females, um, Sonia and Abby, um, and Steve uh, were massive help and a great inspiration um, and pivotal to towards the development, uh, my, my, my personal development too. Only since I've come here to ILM and I've started working with some of our American colleagues that I've. Kind of, I kind of bagged myself uh, a mentor. So there's a woman in a San Fran whose name's Beth, and when I was doing Rogue, uh, Rogue One, um, I, I happened to go over to see a friend and meet her, um, and just sat down with her for a coffee and pretty much wrote down every single thing she said, and effectively licked her arm and said, "You're mine. I'm, I'm going to keep you." I can say that obviously, like in previous things that I've done, um, I'm kind of. I'm aware now that my name is potentially a hindrance and I kind of just thought, well it's my name, I like my name so I'm just going to use it. I think keeping my name and wearing it with pride will always hopefully make other people feel confident enough to do the same. I've often been asked my opinion on something and then been told, oh okay, I'll, well let me just go and check with someone else. Just like, just to confirm that you've given me the right information and I, I don't feel that that would always happen if I was a man. Um, but I don't think it's intentional. I think it just, they don't think about it. But I have seen it on occasion uh, where, uh, where um, the subtleties of, of, of how uh, women behave are potentially held up to a different standard to how, uh, how a man might interact with, his, uh, with a team or, um, or in a meeting potentially. I feel like um, a big problem is that a lot of girls weren't raised to be into math or be encouraged in that direction. Um, I personally felt it was a little different because my dad basically made me do math problems as like, this is the fun thing you do after school. And I was like, all for it. But I think with that being said, I, th I think it's more being that you go and you hold your own among the boys, where you go, well, this is my level and this is what I can do and judge me by what I can do and not my gender. I find it a bit of a shame and a bit sad because we all have unique perspectives, unique views on how things can be dealt or can be done with and you kind of need everything in order to make something that is really working well together. So but at the same time it's already kind of starting from when you're little. Girls are encouraged to play with dolls and to play with makeup and dress ups guys get like all these technical sets built robots or built on Lego or all these kind of things. Well, it shouldn't be. Everyone should be free, at least as a child, to choose what you want to play with, what you want to do and what you want to become. I recently went back to my old secondary school to meet my old teachers and uh, because one of the teachers there wanted me to speak particularly to some of the ladies in her physics class who were planning on dropping the subject and she wanted me to persuade them to continue because women can succeed in this industry and to show them some other avenues that the physics course could actually be used in, not just the traditional route. Um, I think if we do more of that, that would be good because they hadn't even considered the possibility that their physics course could lead them to film. It's, that, it's, a, it's a challenge that we face, continue to face every day in the 21st century and it, 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 does, it does make my blood boil just a little bit, which is why you know, the women that I work with, the younger women that I work with, I mean I do everything I can to support them and sort of continuing to push and push and push and push and push until we can you know, be seen as equals with the guys that we work with.